messing with us. Oh, where do I go? When there's no one else to talk to, who do I talk to? Sing out again. Oh, oh, oh. I go easy, oh, oh. I go. Where do I go? Where do I go? When there's nobody else to turn to, who do I talk to? When nobody wants to listen, yes, who do I leave? I go to the rock. No one is able. I go to the rock. I go to the rock. I go to the rock of my salvation. I go to the sand of the desert. I run to the mountain top. The mountain stand back at me. Yes. When the world all around me is swimming in sand, I cry the sun in the water stand. When I need a shelter, when I need a shelter. Oh, we go to the second verse. Where do I hide? When the storms of life my God, do I turn to? Who do I turn to? Yes, when the winds of sorrow blow. Is there a refuge? Yes, there is. Hallelujah. In the time of tribulation, I go to the rock. I go to the rock. Chorus time. I go to the rock. I go to the stone and the builders rejected. I run to the mountain, the mountain. Oh, his name is Jesus. Yes. When the world all around me is singing, I cry when the soul is in my side. When I need a shelter, when I need a friend, I go. We sing a chorus again. I go to the rock of my salvation. I go to the stone that the builders rejected. I run to the mountains and the mountains and my knees. Oh, when the world all around me is sinking sand, cries the solid rock I stand. When I need a shelter, when I need a friend, I go to the rock. When the earth all around me is sinking sand, when the earth all around me is sinking sand. Christ, the solid rock I stand. When I need a shelter, when I need a friend, I go to the rock. When I need a shelter, when I need a friend. When, when I need, need a shelter, yeah. when I need a friend, I go to the rock. When I need a shelter, when I need a, shelter, when I need a friend, I go to the rock. I'm going to play a verse. I 
the sun and you walk by stand. When I need a shelter, when I need a friend, I go to rock. See the chorus one more time. I go to the rock of my salvation. I go, I go to the stone that the builders rejected. Run the mountain and the mountain stand by me. Oh, when you look all around me, it's sinking sun. Hallelujah, it's all a glory. When I need a shelter, when I need a friend, I go to the ground. When I need a shelter, when I need a shelter, when I need a friend, I go to the When I need that shelter, when I need a shelter, when I need a friend, I go to the Jesus is that shelter. Jesus is that shelter. Jesus is that shelter. Jesus is that shelter. Jesus is my friend. Hey. One more time. Jesus is my shelter. Jesus is my shelter. Jesus is my friend. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus is my shepherd. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is my rock. Thank you, Father. He is my friend. Hallelujah. He is the rock in the weary land. Amen. Hallelujah. He is the one that stands oh. and buttresses us. Yes. Hallelujah. Two straight, you know, like lamp poles on either side of us. You lean so, you hold you. You lean so, you hold you. Oh, hallelujah. My God, and it's arms oh, around us holding us in this season in oh, this Jesus. season Amen. my god if you you're following the radio the tv and and we don't even have to go out to america and england mm. and france and all of that their news feed mm. to see that things are really getting more and more depressing mm. right here in trinidad right here in trinidad I always said so many pregnant women are getting the COVID. You know the trauma that that child on the inside is going to feel because if mommy is sick, if mommy is the, depressed, they're fighting for her life based on what the Lord has been teaching us about that connection between the baby in the womb and the mother's state of affairs up here. It will be very, very interesting to see what will happen in times to come when the babies are born and they are growing up, because that's a trauma, right? And we have been getting so many different verification of that uh, principle the Lord gave. Whatever is happening, to the child in the womb, based on the mother's uh, uh, interaction with the father and other people around during those nine months, sets the child in a particular frame of mind. And since we know, since we know that words are not just letters, because you can't see the words that you are hearing. Words are spirit. They are actually in the spirit world because you cannot see W O R D. You're hearing it. And where we are here at home, and you are miles away from us, we could not have been sending letters <laughs> of the alphabet through the, the system, its pulses coming. Nobody could see them. But boy, they impact you. They impact all of us. You listen to your radio, you don't see words coming out. It impacts you. And that's why we are, we are saying, <laughs> the, the, the one whose word we should be listening to, the one whose life-giving word we should be listening to, 
disease healing word we should be listening to the one who lifts us up out of the maya and the clay word that we should be listening to her the one whose word is written in the bible in the psalms in just just close your eye and cut a page i mean we don't generally recommend that but all right no, i'm right about just, just say yes it. and you will get see. some word in here get some word you know and mm -hmm. i mean we've been appealing to people yes. to go to the bible go, go to, to the, the bible. bible go to the bible and uh, we come in again to appeal to people mm -hmm. go to the word of god the that's word of god. the go-to place because and yet people fill themselves with of so many other things that create fear depression and, and, um, anxiety when we hmm. uh, did the um program with the doctors with um oh with the doctor, doctor spence you're right the first time that first Monday thing night. the medical doctor said that's right he didn't he didn't come um sharing bible or, or the christian no. stance no. as a no. medical no. doctor that's right he said turn off stop feeding yourself this information i'm listening to the tv and uh, um the the go-to man in the states for covid or Fauci. Dr. Fauci is saying, try, avoid filling yourself with, social, with media. social media information. And we still have a people, now you could understand people who don't have any place to go. They don't really have nothing else to read. That's right. They don't have a go-to place. Here we have a Bible, 66 books. Yeah, it will take you a lifetime to read through and grasp this. My God. And even if in your lifetime... After that, you have to go over again. Yeah, you have to go over again. I have I made a pledge when we started school in the Bible, and I said, God, give, I want five years of consistent teaching because I I try not to miss any of it, even if we're not in Trinidad, uh, except we occupied. And uh, this is what eight years. Every so for eight years I've been going through this from Genesis to Revelation, you know, by far and large, miss one or sometimes, you know, a couple. You know, I'm reading today, and it's as if you didn't read some of the things. Hmm. Listen, I'm re reading Ecclesiastes. I read it, read, read. Then I played it with the audio and read again. And it's as if, well, I mean, yeah, you, you don't really know it. Mm. So you can imagine if there is somebody, and there are many people like that, born again Christians, kingdom citizens, who don't even take the time to read the Bible, but their go-to place is the phone. You could imagine what happens to you. Even when, if you are listening, viewing tonight, by the time you try to get a little Bible in, whatever you have in you pushing out the bible you know it's too much of the negative if if i you know i mean imagine i uh, uh have a salt water it's so salt that it you can't even drink it and what i try to do is on an arbitrary day i throw a little fresh water in it mm. you still can't drink it so we saying listen this and Holy Spirit promised to teach us. He's the ultimate teacher. We are just his tools, his teaching tools. That's right. Go to the Bible. Ask God to the Holy Spirit to tell you which book to read. And as Vivian says, you know, if you ever understand that verse, read it again. That's right. Yeah. And ask Holy Ghost again. Yeah. And it begins to break up, break up. Yeah. And next thing you know, revelation. Understanding test things, yourself yeah. Yeah. right mm -hmm. you, 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 everybody's phone has a recording section mm -hmm. and you, you get a, a revelation put in the record yeah. and record it mm -hmm. check it out later yes, hallelujah that's right it i have that's I, right i have my journal every day and i you know, be, be, you because, write it you know take a note <laughs> i was checking it out do you know if you go by the doctor while he's putting the 
Vad ska det stetoskop. Stetoskop, stetoskop and so. You know he talking? Yeah. And do do you rely on the stethoscope or the word he say? Yeah. Because what he gets in from this ah. he's feeding your words. He's talking, he's questioning, he's responding, he's saying the heartbeat, so and so and so. Are you feeling anything? You feel pain here? And based on what you respond, he could guide you along. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So 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 we are saying then. Wow. Everybody everywhere is word they're using to look up in. Mm -hmm. Or word they're using to build, to, you to build you up. And the Bible talks about the word edifying. So, yeah, some, the word of God. If you don't want to trust our words, go read it yourself. And it's in English. Yeah. You could read and it, ask you Holy Spirit to teach yeah. you. Right. Yeah. You could listen to it. Mm -hmm. Ask Holy Spirit to teach you it. Break it open for me, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Look, I uh, saw so some interview somebody sent for me with this young man whose mother was murdered. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was a young guy. There were two other younger siblings. Mm -hmm. And uh, he automatically became the parent wow. for those siblings. And in the interview, it is not, um, the, uh, I saw it on the regular TV. And they're asking him how it is. Because he mm -hmm. wrote a book. Right now, he travels. He was a footballer. Budden footballer. I think he still plays. Right now, he travels all over the world and in, well, all over the states, talking to teams, all kinds of teams talk. Because how do you deal with crisis, with that, the loss of his mother hmm. and the fact that he's responsible for his siblings? He was in his teens, 17 or something like that, you know, when she died or something so. But he remembered the words that the mother used to tell him about the Bible, read your Bible, son, hmm. and talk to him about God and success. And he said before that he was, I mean, he reading but yet he said he found God during this time. In the crisis. And uh, Proverbs, he said his mother used to always tell him when he wasn't there, a proverb a day. He said now he reads Proverbs and when he done, he read it again. And he read it again. And we're saying to you, yeah, Vivian always says you have to read the whole Bible. Just That's read yourself a book. When you're finished reading, That's because you're telling right. yourself, you know, I really grasp it. But for me, I don't know how long this young man reading Proverbs. And for the Holy Spirit feeds him. Right? And uh, it's children's stories he's writing. Because uh, the trauma he went as a, a little boy and what he saw his siblings went through. And he started doing children's stories. No, he's a bestseller. He still is very young. He's 21 or something. I shock him married and have a child or something. So, yeah. You know? The word of Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. The word of God. The word of God. The yeah. word of God. Abraham, James, just bring up uh, Hebrews 4 from verse 9 for us. And we're going on to verse 12. Hebrews 4 from verse 9. Because may I tell you, we can tell you, if you read from verse 1, you will see that Israel was supposed to have come into their rest after having left Egypt. Egypt in quick time they were supposed to get into the land of rest called Canaan you know what happened you know what went wrong they took their eyes off the word and I use eyes here because you have to see the word you have to see it of the word and began listening mm -hmm. to the surroundings. Mm -hmm. And when I say the surroundings, mm -hmm. even the other human beings. And two million people got duped by ten. Mm -hmm. Ten doubters. And uh, if they had social media in those days, mm -hmm. my God, they would have, uh, I mean, texted that to every one of the the adults who could read because they know the adults are going to pass it on. But they didn't even need to have social media. Words are spirit. Oh, yeah. And depending... Negative words are amazing. That's right. Yeah. Why do you... And we keep saying, if you... Let me tell you, you one of the ways the problem said is a shut down gossip is not to listen or not to pay attention. That's right. You know what facilitates this whole movement? Is because you, I can't say me, 
because I will I'm not forwarding nothing no, that no, negative. No, no, no. Delete from the time I, I read, listen, two lines and I see it going up, delete. And I if the person sent it to me, I'm immediately writing and say, please only send things that will put a smile on my face that's that will right today. don't send this kind of information to me i don't need to know right Hallelujah. But the, the problem is that we send off those like, things not, that's because right. the bible says that we should be sending off good tidings that's right the word of god why how is it that the, the born again believer the that's kingdom right. citizen mm-hmm. feel more confident passing yeah. on negative words than a scripture, than a scripture. But, but the thing is yeah you, your apostle, right. Emmanuel Vivian Nogan, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I get a quote. I, in fact, on my phone, I have them lined up. up yeah. I listen to preachers preach, I listen to news, I listen, and boom, God gives me a quote out of what somebody said to strengthen sometimes in one day 3,000 people. Yeah. Are blessed by it. I look at the comments. Yeah. Listen to me. If you're looking for strength in a time like this, yeah. if you're looking to lift your head, and these days I got, I got a little more techno savvy. I'm taking photos of flowers and a little rainbow while I'm spraying, and I'm putting it there to back up the words. Yes, Be- because that's part of our ministry of the word. And I usually have a scripture verse to back it up. If you're going to send out things, I I like how um, Pastor Dawn does it. Once she finds it, she sends it on every chat that she she is on. Listen, this scripture we're going to read here, and and we want it in the, right, we're going to read it in the, in the, in the King James, and then we come back in the Amplified. I, I just feel we need to stop at the junction called Word, Word of God. My God. Because everything else is yes. depressing Sink, you. Sinking sand. That's right. Because when we say on Christ, the we, solid rock we stand, really, for us, is, is the, the word. word of God. The Word of God. For He is the living Word. Shapo Korobo yeah. Shandai. Go to the Word. You mm. keep saying, all right, you may not. You ain't trust our word, well, go, go to, to the, the Bible. Bible and look for yourself. Read for yourself. We didn't, re- we didn't, we didn't write, write the Bible. Yeah. And you don't trust our interpretation. Right. You read for yourself. I may tell you, the, the, the Bible interprets itself. Yes. That's why you need to get into school, school of the Bible. My God. They talk to the people hmm. who are in school of the Bible and they will tell you their whole perspective on this book. We want to start with Let's a change. few of them. Um, Given, given some testimony. testimony. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both so, from overseas and everything. Yeah, so from, right. Um, instead of uh, playing the whole promo at that times, you, right, you could just take right. one a testimonial. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Start sending in your testimonials. You are a part of School of the Bible even from 2014 when we started. <laughs> Send and say and we want this it on video. Thing. Yes, we want to see your face. Because you're accustomed with so many net and things. Right. right. Know, come oh, on. Yes, yes. So just come out and talk. Give, give us a five minutes. Mm-hmm. Just like we did some minutes. Give us a five minutes and say, this experience bound to be five. of the word has changed your life. Give us what a little right? something. Not, lo- not more than five. Well, definitely. Yes. Right? So please. The word of God. The word of God. Hallelujah. Let's, uh, Apostle Jim, I'm going to read it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nine, yeah. Huh? yeah. Verse 9, there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. My God. Uh, well, because the, the argument that the writer is saying, and some people say mm-hmm. it's Paul, um, mm-hmm. and it could be, mm-hmm. um, but he did not identify himself. Mm-hmm. But the, in other words, he was, if you read it from according to Vivian, from mm-hmm. verse four, 1, from verse one, the Israelites did not enter into the rest into their that rest. God had for them. Because somebody yes. made them restless. Yeah. And yep. he could not have been talking about Sabbath here. Oh, no, no. Because oh, no. they no, keep no. the Sabbath. That's right. So we're that's not, right. we ain't going off on Sabbath right. or anything. If you want to keep Sabbath, that's fine. That's because right. you work a um, whole week and you want to rest on Saturday. I find that I don't really have a problem with Sabbath. Go Just ahead. telling you. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, but they did not enter into the rest. 
And so he said, verse 9 says, well, let me, let me just jump up from verse 6. It says, seeing therefore, it remained that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was, it was first, first preached, preached entered not, not in because of unbelief. Right. So the, the Jews didn't accept it. It was first preached to them. They didn't get the rest. And right. so we jump in back to verse but, 9. But before Apostle yeah, Jeva goes okay. there, we want you to know, since COVID started, there are more people who are not part of divine destiny yeah, who, love who come for counseling and, help and, so on. and they tell me, I just listen to your program. Meaning the, the um, body radio program and TV. TV and yeah. they got the, the, the feed every night, every time on a Sunday. Yeah. They believing yeah. the word to the point they say, I have to call and get an appointment. Amen. But have, have you met anybody within recent time? All kind of officials, we go on to do business. And ev who said, I listen to you? That's right. I visit your church at times. I listen to right. you online. Eh? That's right. That's right. Okay. And we just delivering the word. And it's not off the cuff. You know, people say off the cuff. No, no, no. no. These, no. These, these are spirit words. Yeah. They are aimed at getting into your spirit, and from especially in a time like this, from the heart. And I'm telling you, we not try. We, this is like table talk. We sitting down like family. That's right. That's and right. Talking parent to child, mm -hmm. you know, brother to sister, mm -hmm. from the heart, mm -hmm. because we genuinely want to help people. Let me tell you something. Those people, I might as well be frank with you, whose main feed. Is social media. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to fear well. I am very careful not to uh, say some certain things. Because Vivian talks about words. Hello, you're not going to fear well because certain situations will confront you as it confronts all of us from time to time. And because you don't have enough word inside of you, you will not be able to stand. Mm -hmm. Because you have nothing to hold you. And it's right there in the scripture. Yeah. You go and read Ephesians chapter 6. Stand mm -hmm. therefore, having your Lord good. Yeah. Come with on. What? Truth. What's truth? The word. Every one of them. Best the righteous. Where it, technically, is the, the word of God. Yeah. 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 Come on. In this season, and, and listen, the thing about cri this crisis, mm -hmm. right? If you go read what happened in the 19 hundreds, early 1900s, you will see just before it broke, it reached a peak. 50 million people died. And we have peak yet. And because people still doing what they want. 50 million, is it? 50 million. 50 million. From the smallpox, chicken pox, whatever yeah, it was. Trinidad is just Spanish one, flu. One point something million. Well, then, two. then we would have been wiped out yes. for history. Yeah. yeah. And people... You're letting your children die. Oh, come on. I yeah, know you have to be sympathetic. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. It's something is you, you expose your child. That's right. To a party with big people in a time like this. Yeah, and other children there. Yeah. yeah. And the children are susceptible. And of course, if you're partying, chances are I'm drinking, I'm eating. That's I'm right. not wearing a mask. And and it's against deregulation. My word. So let's go, let's go. Come on, man. So now, yes, they remain there for the rest of the people Verse of nine. God, right? So it says blank that the Israelites who was first offered the rest didn't mm -hmm. get the rest, they missed it, and that is still so, right? Because right. it's still well, yeah. anyway. When when you get to go Israel, yes, you will see yeah, yeah. every Friday yeah. that show you that it is so because they are wailing at the wailing, wailing wall, wall mm -hmm. still doing all the rituals that Jesus came right. and finished yeah. when he and said, he said it was once yeah. it was once and for once all and one for time all. when he Come died on. on the cross yeah. anyhow we I mean you, you, you're going there <laughs> no we ain't going but, there but we yeah, resting yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah verse 10 for he said for uh -huh. he that entered into his rest he also had ceased from his own works as God did yeah. from his. his 
and here is not um like you didn't do you ain't doing nothing you get up in the morning and you're doing nothing it, that is not no, in no. other words you're not doing it according to vivian frank sinatra i did it my no, way no that's You're doing it God's way. That's right. You're, and then how do I know what is God's way? I have to find out from the Bible. Yeah. I read it for myself. This is what God says I must do. That's this is what right. he said. Oh, he says I must live. And my job is to propagate the gospel of That's peace, right. not to send out all kinds of things. Yeah, there's a, a, a sister from church, there's just one of the dancers. You could, uh, how, I mean, bet the weather going to be this or that tomorrow because every day she looks for a word and sends it out pure scriptures yeah yeah had to add nothing yeah and she said there was a time when at first she started when the holy spirit gave her yeah. little prophetic words yeah yeah not necessarily just the exact scripture scriptures. Words. and she started to do it at one point I guess it was how she was feeling too because with the whole COVID, she yeah, wasn't yeah, employed, yeah. And she was a little down, and mm -hmm. she stopped sending it. You right, know, that, 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 there's another one. Yeah, go ahead. You know, uh -huh. um, one of her clients, well, of course, she couldn't serve as a person. Right. Based on what she did, wrote and said, I look forward to what where you have to say everywhere. Yes. And she's not a born again Christian. Mm. She said, Where it is, every day I look forward to what you have to say. Right. And she said to me, but I ain't getting nothing. I said, but it's sick. Look, you have a whole Bible, 66 books. Pull a word. Because the Bible, the yeah. word of God is more effective than yours and That's your interpretation. Right. That's right. My word. Hmm. Yep. You, you, yep. Do you know, do you know, you ever heard about the soap box um, principle? Do you know in, well, in England, it, it, it started. When somebody wanted to say something to rile up the public, they would go in the square like Woodford Square mm -hmm. and stand up on a box that used to have soap in. Mm -hmm. And that's how the soap box principle comes. And they will yell out for about a 15 minutes. And people will gather. They, uh, and people will anytime gather. you start to act like you're crazy, people come in around to see what's going on. And they will speak whatever it's in their crow, in their, in, their, in their mind. And do you know that became the talk of the tongue? Mm -hmm. I know, we're not saying that you have to go and do that, but no, you have more than a soap, soapbox. Mm -hmm. you, My uh, God. And, and there's only people around yeah. the square could have heard. No, yeah. you could send something to Australia. Yeah, social media. Yeah. Look, look, look there. out of what we send out, for years we didn't see uh, uh, con contact our brother Sam and his wife in in it who had come to, to, divine, um, destiny, to divine destiny. Australia, yes. We had lost the address, and next thing you know, I saw a comment by a young man, and his in, his surname was Sam. So I sent a comment and say, "Are you the son of?" And listen, the day wasn't out as yet, and brother Sam contacted me. I, I want us to understand the kind of power we have now to spread this gospel. Hallelujah. To spread the good news. The good news. The emphasis is on good, good because gospel news. means good, good news. news. You must be a dispenser of a good, good news. news. Whatsoever things are lovely. Come on, the scripture, it says so. Mm. Test it. Is this lovely? Is this yep. a good report? Is this just? Yeah. When, when it doesn't have virtue. That's it. When Jesus is it, we're praiseworthy. Yeah. When t Jesus came up out of the grave and 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 uh, Mary saw him. When they were finished talking, he told her, "Go tell Peter. Go tell the disciples and Peter. Yeah, that I'm risen. Mm -hmm. Come on." <laughs> she became the, the social media for that day. Carrier of good news. The carrier of the, at good first news. they didn't really believe, but see no, what? they didn't believe. But then he came through the door. Mm -hmm. Came through the wall. The wall yeah. However, he came. Mm. And he made what she had said a solid truth. The mm -hmm. guys from Emmaus, yeah, when they looked around and the man Realized disappeared, was Jesus. Oh gosh, yeah, they knew Come it was on. Jesus. They went pell mell down yeah. the road. You can imagine if they yeah. had WhatsApp, 
be oh quick my God. with good news. Come on. Shabba. And we are we are challenging you. We challenging you. you. If you want to send something, send good the news. word of God. Good news, gospel. Good news. You don't even have to interpret it. No. Just send it raw from yeah. the Bible. Any right. any script here. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Right. Isn't, is, isn't that something? It's a paradoxical mm -hmm. declaration because labor does not go yeah. together with rest. Yeah. You see, in other yeah. words, for you to come to that place of resting in you God, it will take it. effort. You have to put out effort mm -hmm. because it just does not happen. Everything around you yeah. is restless. If you, if, if you look, oh. even when when you're not feeling the wind, watch the leaves, if, yes. especially if you buy a, a, a bamboo stool, because ba bamboo leaves are so um, fickle. Even just a little passing, you see them. But, yeah. And that's what the devil is looking for. People who are yeah. fickle and just a little... Mm -hmm. And for the rest of the day, they shake in. And then they, somebody boosts that in the evening and you go into bed shaking. Yeah. You see, I get any more, I go press send and send it to, to my friends. As many and people as possible. As many. And you, the, what you're doing is spreading that same negative emotion That's right. to and other you, people. And remember, there are those, and we're telling you, hmm. there are those who put at the bottom of the... Um, with well, the message, if you love Jesus, yeah, send it to ten people, yeah, <laughs> as like a threat. And the thing makes no. I'm not sending it. No, don't tell me that. Don't Somebody says, that. and I wrote, I said, do ever send me anything? That's and it. Put that rejoiner right. below as if I right. love God. I'm not sending it. There are times when I will forward something, but it had to minister to it me. That makes sense. And when that thing minister to me, yeah. I send it to my children. And on odd occasion, I would send something to Vivian. Mm. Yeah, it had to speak to me, minister. I, 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 listen, God knows why He has us at yeah. this station today. Yeah. Call word, yeah. rest. Somebody has been disturbed by things that have come your way. And you have read it, and it is messing up your mind. Yeah. God says, switch. Go back go to, the, to my go word. Go back to the Bible. That's the place that you need to go when you get up in the morning and read mm -hmm. the word. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you can't go social media. First thing, you open your That's eye. Right. You even say, good morning, Jesus. Good morning, mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. You jump on your phone while you're on your bed. Mm -hmm. You start reading information. I and that thing messes up your whole terrible. day. Mm-hmm. Last thing before you go and sleep, you want to know what's going on again. And you keep feeding yourself. And mm -hmm. then uh, you, you're propagating. When you see the people you mess up by the things you send. Nah. I, don't, I don't like to say anything. So I won't say anything right. more. Yeah. But you're responsible. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are, will be held because there are some people. Because Paul talked about weaker brothers. He said there are some yeah. things yeah. that are not a sin in itself. When he was talking about. Uh, meet uh, offered to idols because you see idols are nothing they're no good mm -hmm. right but you have weaker brothers two set of people will be affected by your eating a weak brother mm -hmm. sometimes it could be a brother who mm -hmm. came from that background of idol worship mm -hmm. and then and stopped doing it and then seeing you do it because you have faith mm -hmm. or the people who worship idols will say well this is fine or what yeah. god's powerful because this person is a kingdom mm -hmm. citizen and they oh, partake in of, yeah. of, of the, the thing Right. Yeah. So, in other words, and Paul says, "Listen, if you want to affect a weaker brother, my then Jesus. you cease to do it, although my you are faith." Let me tell you something. What you read may not have rocked your boat, but the person to whom you send that thing, the, oh yes, you devastate that individual. You don't know where that person was. You don't know the place that they was. Everybody is telling you what they're going through. You don't know the loss they suffered. You don't know the pain my they're God. suffering, and they're struggling to hang on. To Jesus, the faith, you know, kind of going up and down. Like and yo, instead yo. of sending something to strengthen that person's faith and foundation, you send them something to bring fear and to weaken them and doubt. Think about it. Yeah. But look what it says, lest any man fall after, after the, the same, same example, example of, of unbelief. Yeah. What happened to them in the wilderness? They fall, everybody drops. Because somebody's mm -hmm. mouth. 
Yes. Ten of them together <laughs> said, <coughs> we're not able. That's all they said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not able because those giants saw us like grasshoppers mm -hmm. and they're going to crush us. And two men, two men fighting to say we could, we could make it. We could eat them. Like they could be like bread to us. Yes. Yeah. Giant because, size. Because you know what they were saying? Because that's what God said. God, he said with, the, 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 uh, with Abraham, he promised. Us. Promised, man. Yeah. And they, 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 that's what Joshua and Caleb were saying. But we know the word of God. We know the, the promise of God. We read it. This is what he told us. That's rightfully our inheritance. And then oh, you have those God. who, 10, 10 people. Yep. And, and, and mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, they were right on scheduling. Yeah. Come on. Because remember how we explained time in history. Mm -hmm. We said the first 49 years of a particular century is still within the bracket of that century. So, God say it will be 400 years they will spend there. He, tell, he said it to Abraham, and they'll come out loaded. And Moses writes, you'll see it in the Amplified, we came out of Egypt after 435 years. Mm -hmm. So it was within. Mm -hmm. You know what happened? Mm -hmm. After the 50th year, it becomes the next century. Mm -hmm. So when you add 40 to 435, mm -hmm. they didn't make it until the, the, the fifth century. Mm -hmm. They missed their timing. Mm -hmm. It's in year 475 mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. that they finally crossed over. Yeah. But if you if you know maths and you're averaging, when they, the ah, average right. is one of the mathematical things. Right. If it's more than um, 50, you move it over to move it if over. you average, right. then it goes to the, to the, the next year, the, the next right. number. Right. If it's under 50, you, 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 it go back, goes back. And what back, made yeah. them miss that? that what made them miss it somebody two people ten people mm -hmm. opened their mouth and, we, and cast doubt yeah, and remove them from the rest remove because the, them the restlessness the rest. and the unrest was in more in the head than anything of course, else of yeah. course of course mm -hmm. so think about that lest any man fall but what i love there is that now god ain't letting the whole crowd fall nope <laughs> Nope. He say, you, you, you want to choose yeah. that? Yeah, and Go after ahead. we talking, 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 Je Jeremiah sat down and lamenting, lamentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, weep. Yeah. Big man crying. You know what he was weeping for? But tell them, he said, how long I preach? He was not the only person. There were other prophets. That came before them. That came and was within Jeremiah's time. And he preached and he preached and he preached. And they say, nah, we are God's people, that ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. And so on, so on, so. And he preached and he preached and he sat down in lamentation. And he watched the star city of God in ruins. And I thank God that because Jeremiah was really a prophet of God, he didn't cast no blame. He was part of the whole experience. And he wept. And we sitting down here talking to you and you and you and you. God hmm. is speaking. Ah. He's saying, I give you my word. And look at it in verse 12. Look at the properties okay. yeah. built into the word. The life mm -hmm. giving, life sustaining, mm -hmm. life, uh, 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 hmm. what do you call it? Um, you call it prolonging mm -hmm. uh, properties built into the word. Of Amen. God. Look at it, verse 12 now. For the word of God is quick. And the powerful, and the sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and the ears are discerned of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. I said, Go to the. Yeah, we're going to the Amplified now. Of that, just that verse. Let's go from verse 9. Okay. Look at the Amplified version. verse 9. 
we, we didn't even plan to do this. No, we just we come with, pl with what we had in mind. That's right. Yeah, we have yeah. to finish off my yeah. boy Mephibosheth. Yeah, and God said no. Because uh -huh. I am up, I'm praying today. I said, Lord, we just want to do what you want, say what you want, and I want to be on the same page with Vivian. Every time before I come down here, he's the lead speaker. Let me please. Mm. I, I want to be there to be a connectivity with him. Even if I'm not speaking, I want us to be on the same page. Okay, so let's go with the amplifier. Yeah. So then. No, we in that's nice. Yeah, so then nine. there is still awaiting a full aye, aye, and aye. complete Sabbath rest reserved for the true people of God. I love how it says awaiting. Yes. Even though it was, um, how you how call it, voided when it comes to Israel. Mm. He said, my promises are yea. And amen. And the Israelites are still available to them. That's right. It's not that God refused because they are his people. Yeah. And there are some who are now being called Messianic Jews. Well, they entered into it. Yeah, although the man said there is no such thing as Messianic Jews. Either you are Jew that. or a yeah. Christian. He can say that, yeah. because, but he is not God. Yeah. Talk to the Messianic Jews and yeah. they, listen, they are just as Pentecostal. Yeah, they born again. Well. They accept Jesus Christ as right. Lord and Savior. Yeah. So look at it. Yeah. Rest is for us. So then there is still ah. a waiting and it's still available. Mm -hmm. A full and complete Sabbath rest. And I don't mean that you ain't doing nothing Saturday. Because I could right. do, lie down whole day Saturday. But my mind going a mile a minute. That's why some people lie down, they're restless. Yeah, you know. They lie down because restlessness does not come by itself. Yeah. Depression comes and anxiety comes yeah. and poor me one feeling, oh, yeah. uh, sadness comes, yeah. melancholy comes. Yeah. Those guys operate in gangs, you know, go read uh, when the cynic calls. Yes. Uh, that, the, the first book the Lord had us write is a God, gang yeah. of demons that attack you yeah. to take you out. When you want to succumb to one, Boy, Jesus. Yeah, the other saying, all right, fellas. Yep, yep. We open any door for you. Just come. And you have to fight. But when you go into Ephesians 6, it says it's a, the word of God is a two edge. Oh, so, hallelujah. and even this one too. So, once you put on that thing, mm. the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The word of God. Amen. Hey, let, let's continue. So, then, all right, four. He who has once entered God's rest also has ceased from the weariness and pain of human labors. Just as God rested from those labors, peculiarly his own. Now, it doesn't mean uh, that you're not supposed to work or go in the garden or, or work or labor or do physical. Right? It talks a lot. It says the weariness and pain because when I when you do regular work and you exercise, your body benefits from it. That's right. So it it, it, it doesn't bring weariness and pain in that same e same way. Even if you do muscular exercise and you you utilize certain muscles and you, you feel a pain and discomfort, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that those muscles are underutilized. Right. But we can tell you what makes you tired. And this tiredness is not from mm -hmm. Working in the garden no. or in the gym, this tiredness is from yeah. the the what well, doesn't even exercise the stress, the stress, the worries. You use up more energy worrying about something, and you know what's the funny thing about worrying? Doesn't change anything. Yeah, yeah. You have to just put Ooh. in the wood. Put in the wood. Sometimes you. Yeah. It like it, it does seem to penetrate, put it in still, That's right? Feed yourself with it. And there are times when I mean, just play it. I will lie down on the bed, have the iPad next to me, and you're playing and you're listening. And there are so many word songs, worship songs that are close to the script. So even if it's not the Bible itself, but the, you're, you're singing the script here, so you're hearing it sung. Come on, man. Everything that's needed for life and godliness. We have it. We have it. You have to it's fight for it, though. But yeah. Labor. You say you, you have, have to, to fight. Labor. You have to put out it the energy. It puts effort. Yeah. Put out the energy. Mm -hmm. But it's not 
gonna make you tired you know, or weary. Or weary, like when mm -hmm. you are worrying. Mm -hmm. That that is oh, more energy sapping yeah. than trying to bust a big stone with a sledgehammer. Mm -hmm. Yep, because worry always puts up a barrier and speaks from that barrier. You will never come out of this. Mm -hmm. You'll go crazy from this. Mm -hmm. You see, I told you that all that effort you put out, nothing going to work. Yeah, waste of time. Waste of time. Point? And then it, it, it moves the lever, the pointer, from pointing at the situation, and then it points to you. You and see, if you were yeah. different, yeah. then that wouldn't happen. Mm. And then, oh, come on. And then it, the last uh, arsenal that the devil will use is God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, yeah, you, yeah. when you're done, like condemn you? yourself, you see? We're good. We're good, we're good. Well, yeah. he, will, he will talk about people. Where the pastor, where your friends, where the people in the church. Right. You know, you're blaming everybody. And then afterwards, he say, you see, we're good. Oh, God, I come true for you. All the sacrifice you make with this God. All the prayer, pray. We okay. hear it every day. Yeah. And that's why it's so many people, when they come in for counseling, I say, let, let me let me pray, and then I will hear what you have to say. And you hear them, they either burst out into tears or the bowl, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, because all God wanted was for you to stop a little while and yes. hear his word. Yes. And we are saying to each of us, especially if you are from divine destiny, we are saying to you, there's a prophetic flow inside of you. Yes. Why not exercise yes. pull on it talk on it pull on it that's your right your right is to operate in the prophetic because you are led mm -hmm. by two prophetic people with apostolic authority you, you none of us from divine destiny should be uh, uh, how you call it digging horrors quote unquote off of what anybody else may be saying to you if it is not prophetic if it is not resonating, yeah. that's the key, you know. Yeah. I, what Jesus talked about, it must bear witness. Yeah. And once it begins to bear witness, mm -hmm. it actually springs back up and yes. energizes you. Yes. And somebody else is waiting on that word yeah. from you. The, the gift of discernment had to become more acute in us. Yep. You know, to discern something and mm -mm. it might look okay from the outside. Mm -mm. Something mm. in, in a man saying, no, this, no, 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 don't, it, don't, don't bring it, that it, into your... It kind of jazz. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't bring it in, it. Yeah, into your system. Yeah. Ah, Jesus. Yes. Verse, verse 12 now. 11, verse 11. Verse 11. Uh, yes. We in Hebrews, chapter yeah, 4. Yeah. Let us therefore be zealous and exert ourselves and strive diligently to enter that rest of God, to know... And experience it for ourselves. That's right. That no one may fall or perish by the same kind of unbelief and disobedience My God. into which those in the wilderness fell. Jesus. You see, you, you, the Amplified actually cracks it open yes. in a much more detailed way. It was not just that they refused to go in. And look at what was playing out there. Unbelief. Ah. Disobedience. Ah. Mm -hmm unbelief and disobedience and what happened to them they fell fell meaning they died. died that compares favorably with first corinthians 10 when you get a chance you read first corinthians 10 <coughs> although god did everything for them they fell in the desert they fell and the first part of hebrews here is um, hebrews 4 is Psalm 95. Mm -hmm. You check it out. What happened in, 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 in the wilderness when you go into um, 1 Corinthians 10, Paul said, all that happened with them mm -hmm. is for our example. Mm -hmm. But the part that always beats me, two parts that beats me in 1 Corinthians 10, and when I say beat me, beat me, is this the people sat down to eat and they got up to play 
you know, I was just scrolling the script today and now realize I am writing. <laughs> because usually I'll put on all the script here and things. I'm ready to do it. It's all right. I'm, I'm so taken back by this whole thing. And yeah. as you, you know, because I, every script here should have checked it right. to put it. Because we, it's Psalm 95 or 75. Psalm 95. Yeah. You don't have a pen? No, I ain't know where my pen going. But it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Get you on the... It's all right. The pen's here, man. I have, uh, yeah. I have <laughs> pens. I'm a writer. Yes. We cannot be profiled oh, like gosh. that. That we sat down to eat. Yeah. And we got up to play. Yeah. And then Paul said, they all fell in the wilderness. Hmm. And what happened with them was for our example. So now, what does that mean? It means you're ah. sitting down to eat. Right now you're eating. Eating wood. Eating yeah, wood. We're feeding you. And that's what we've been doing for the last, yeah. well, for yeah. the last ever. Yeah, but, yeah. Since we divide yeah. the city. Since Straight we, word. That's no play. All we do is, 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 yeah. is preach word. And the people in divine destiny know and Word. I tell them, I didn't come here to preach a happy, I preach telling you what God said. Right. And because we need to get ready for this season. Oh boy. And mm. if you pity part, pity party people, then oh they could not have survived if you didn't really this give season. them mm. strong wood. Mm -hmm. You keep ponging people, you need to know God for yourself. You need to know God for yourself. You need to know God for yourself. You understand what I'm trying to say? You can't depend on us. It's two years now we only had some people? No. Yeah. Because and even the, if you come, protocol, but even if you come, you ain't touching. No, we ain't touching. And you preach and you sweat yourself all the way up, lining up to get hands laid on. That means you could survive yeah. on the word of yeah. God. You know, mm -hmm. anyhow, let me mm -hmm. write my little so, scripture so, down. So come back, so come back there. 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Right. So um, for the word. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we finish the next. Um, no, we got go back to 11. We never fully finished with 11. OK. Or finish fully. Or fully finished, whichever. Um, you see that word there? Um, what? First Corinthians 10? Yeah. 10, okay. That no one, that no one, that no one. One of the things about Jesus, you go read John 17, and he's praying his priestly prayer, and he's saying to the Father, that none of mine will be lost. Mm -hmm. No one, no one, no one. So the same glory you give me, mm -hmm. I give it to them. And they will give it to all those that they will call. And we always say, we are in this thing because Peter, James, John, they call all us. of them, they call us. By the word of God. By the word of God. <laughs> that's, how, that's the only way we get called. That is the only way we go. Yeah. That no one may fall or even perish by the same kind of on belief. And may I tell you, perish in another um, dimension means to become undisciplined. Yeah, yeah. Undisciplined. Oh, yeah. As I said, uh, without a vision, people cast off restraint. People, people become, perish. They perish. They become undisciplined. Mm -hmm. If they have no, no redemptive vision, and the only way you could get that is from the word of God. Yeah. In other words, you walk carelessly. That's right. You don't you don't That's walk right. the pathway that God has designed mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm saying you because sometimes I would say us, but listen to me. I am doing everything I can to fill myself with the word of right. God. I'm mm -hmm. trying. At least I'm striving. And mm -hmm. you know, I writing, I taking note. Some little thing, if you see me, I write in everything. Sometimes I right. can't remember everything, but I'm taking a little note here. The right. 150 Psalm, I, I went through all. And I listen, I write the first verse of the Psalm and all the other, any verse that jump out from me in the Psalm, copiously. Mm -hmm. I go into Proverbs, Miguel writing. Mm -hmm. I try so, it. Perish by the same kind of unbelief. And look at the next one. That's the book I'm bringing out just now. Yeah. The obedience factor. Disobedience. Disobedience. Because yeah. we're not doing what God said to do. That's right. What does he That's say? That's right. Yeah. yeah. And, and may I tell you, the only way you could obey is if you know what <laughs> the word says. What you have to do and what you can't do. And once you know what yeah, the word yeah, yeah. says, mm -hmm. 
you're going to do what you have to do. So even in Trinidad, and you didn't know it was a one-way street, and you drive up, you go to court because you get a ticket or yeah. wherever you, you, you tell yourself, I didn't know, I'm not from down on the side. So mm -hmm. you, you're not paying the ticket, you're going to court. And they say, what, ignorance of, of ignorance of the lawyers? There's no excuse. No excuse. The judge say you should have known. First to begin, if you notice that no other car coming down your way, coming down your way, and when you're, you're going up the street, they blow in, they honk in here. Yeah. And you're wondering, what happened to them? Because sometimes I'm saying, what are they blowing for? You know, think a little bit of perhaps, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, be, ignorance of the law. And right now, because uh, we have we have all these ways to find to know the word of yeah. God. The same social media that you 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 filling yourself with all kind of information. You have Bible inside there. Inside it. So you can't say you didn't know. And I think as I tell you, mine has. If once you download Holy Bible, the the little brown one, hmm. our version it, it's called. There are one thousand and something. Hmm different versions of the Bible yeah. inside it in different languages. Me, I could be more I use about six of them so much. Yeah. I certain I don't even bother to even check to see what they say. I like to check, 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 yeah. check. Especially when I'm writing, check, check, check. Because some of them actually break it down a little more palatable mm -hmm. for us to uh, uh, understand. Right. And then of course holy spirit. spirit. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we don't want to get caught mm -hmm. up in that because somebody else who read took what they read from their understanding mm -hmm. and released it and boom. Yeah. Those ten spies, I tell you. They mess up uh, they mess all up. those yeah. millions of people. Yeah. 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 I looked Tuesday, I was telling about a Vivian, uh, school the Bible. And uh, the we were in the book of Ephesians, right? And uh, the groups. Well, if you um, have not been in school the Bible, you will learn when you come, right? But you're grouped immediately when you join, you become right. from part of a group and you do group work and that sort of thing. And uh, I use the same thing that you taught. I started off in chapter 6, verse 10, finally, mm. that's right, and I said. Most of us, that if you know nothing else but Ephesians, all of us know from finally, finally my brother, you ready to go to war? Yeah, ah, Shabba. come on. And but I, I said, and I made them go backwards. So, the number one group from we, we started off with the discussion from mm -hmm, groups mm -hmm. from verse six, chapter six, then we go higher up, chapter six, then we go to chapter five, from the, yeah. and we go up and we go until so. The last presentation was from chapter one in the end, right. And these people, their representative, bless me. I didn't want you to know I was weeping. When school the Bible was over, I didn't even go where was having his dinner. I didn't go. I ended up not even eating. I took my Bible, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. And Pastor Edlin Phillips, she spoke and listened to my tears. Some, she registered deep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because Ephesians, and, and it, talk, it reminded me of my place in God. I'm seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And sometimes, like, we forget where right. we are positioned. That's right. And then you remember who God will do exceedingly abundantly above all that you may ask or think. Mm -hmm. I say, Lord, I'll go back and I say, Lord, you promised to do. You are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I could ask or think. And they bless me. And my whole demeanor, they, you know, I, I, to me, I got a level of deliverance. Just from the word of God. Mm -hmm. So by the time we came, I didn't even bother to go outside and have anything to eat or anything again. Mm -hmm. and, and in that same verse there, it says, seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, far above oh, yeah. principalities. It shows far. the Christian, your position, your position in position. Christ. In fact, the book yeah. of Ephesians carries at least 52 references to our position in God. In, yeah, in Christ. Above. Mm -hmm. With. Mm -hmm. Go read it yourself. Yeah. And Powerful. look for the preposition, not mm -hmm. just the preposition um, word, but the prepositional phrase. Mm -hmm. And you will see how yeah. sound we are. I don't think those students knew uh, what it did for me. Yeah. 
yeah. even the yeah. sermonettes, I'm, mm-hmm. ju- you know, judging the sermonettes. And I mean, it was the, the group, I mean, they minister the word of God. That's right. Listen to me. Anyhow, in any form, in any way that you could get that word, get that's your inside. go-to place. You did. Because period. Period. At, and because what, Holy Spirit knows exactly what you need at that particular time. And he will allow somebody mm-hmm. on the radio, the TV, the send you a word. Don't just uh, uh, flip through it. When somebody send me some little script here, I say, you know, let me f- see what is this that uh, this person is sending. They took me time to send it. And sometimes that's precisely what you need at that time. So, so let's get verse 12. Yeah. Be amplified. Hallelujah. For the word that God speaks, mm. he didn't say spoke. No. For the word that God speaks, so God is still speaking. He is speaking now. But God doesn't need a human voice necessarily to talk to you. Yes, he gave gifts to the body of Christ. The apostle, the prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist, in the whatever ways that, you know, and so on, to, to speak on his behalf. But the word that God speaks, when I pick up the Bible, God is speaking to me. Because some people, they want, Lord, I want to hear your voice. Look at here. He's talking. The word that God speaks, present tense, present continuous. And it will always be present because God is always talking. Right. So can, so can I enter right here and let you know when Jesus took Peter, James, John up on the mount and transfigured in front of them? As we have said it before, we say it again, it was a spectacular display of the word of God. Who were the figures there? Jesus in the middle. And on either side, you had Moses, and on the other, uh, and the other side was Elijah. Who is Elijah? Elijah is a spoken word prophet. There's no place in the Bible where there's a, a book of Elijah. Book of Elijah. If, you, if you found one, that's don't worry not, about no. it. No, 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 no. Tell them you're not reading that. You're not reading that. No. And the, other side was Moses, who who wrote prolific writer. That's right. He was the first one to write the word inspired by God, and he wrote the law. So you had the written word, the law, on one side, and you had the spoken word, the prophet, on the other side. But both of them were subsumed because their light could not have been greater than mm-hmm. Jesus's mm-hmm. own into Jesus's glory. Hallelujah. And who is Jesus? The John 1. He is the living word. Still living. Still the living word. In other words, the prophetic word, the Hallelujah. legal word, the law word, mm-hmm. the um, spoken word, the written word, mm-hmm. dovetail the living word into the living word mm. and we always talk about this peter was so exhilarated by this he said james john look what's happening here mm. remember down the hill in chapter 16 of matthew at the bottom of that mountain other religions had their churches and jesus said to peter when Peter opened his mouth and answered that over the Christ, the Son of the living God, Jesus said this, flesh and blood did not reveal that unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. You shall no longer be called Simon. Simon means a shifty one. Any And everybody could get Peter to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. But you shall now be called Peter mm-hmm. or the rock. Mm-hmm. But that Peter is pet. Truss, meaning a splinter, a piece mm. in relation to that big rock that the mountain was. Uh-huh. And then he says, upon this rock, mm. 
Mm -hmm. I built my church. People talk about it was Peter. No, mm -hmm. the word used there is Petra, meaning a huge rock. Mm -hmm. The Amplified say huge rock like Gibraltar, but no, right in front of them was this big rock mountain that had no trees on the side of it. It was sheer rock, 800 meters tall. Hallelujah. That is at least 28, 2900 feet. And the next day, um, next weekend, six days later, Jesus goes up in the mountain, climbs the mountain with Peter and John and James. And he, the living word, is now in a post of glory. Mm. And the spoken word in the form of Moses, uh, um, Elijah, is on one side. And the prophetic word, which is what the spoken word, on that side, the legal word and the written word is on the other side, the form of Moses. All of them, I mean, as I use the term, subsumed. They had no light of their own. They were covered by Jesus. Here, Peter, and that's where I'm, I'm, I'm coming in here, where it says, uh, for the word of, that God speaks is alive and full of power. It's sharper. And, and the whole idea is that it does not. The word of God didn't, it never died. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Peter opens his mouth and says, let's build three tabernacles. Same word there for church, which is ecclesia. Let's build three churches, three ecclesias, three tabernacles. One for Moses, one for Jesus, one for Elijah. Suddenly, a voice came from heaven. Same God speaking, mm -hmm. but unlike in chapter 4 of Matthew, when he got, Jesus got baptized, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Mm -hmm. He railed both Peter. He said to Peter, Peter. But the, the, the writer doesn't include the, the word Peter. But he says, this is my beloved son. Hear ye him. Well, let me tell you the word here is present tense. So in any era in which that scripture is written, it is saying to whoever is reading it and hearing it, you have to continue to hear Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hear ye him. Why? Because he is the living word. He is alive. So that's why it says the word that God speaks is alive. Is a Mm -hmm. alive and full of power it's alive, it's alive it's not mm -hmm. a dead bible, it's alive Amen. It, you, you, listen I don't think there's any other religious book quote unquote any other religious book that emperors and kings and, and despots and, uh, and, and dictators have tried to destroy yeah. like the bible and now you could get it a hundred and something thousand and something version come on and it's still alive mm -hmm. It's still Hallelujah. Oh God's word, God's word. word. And again, you have to come to school of the Bible. That's because right. that is when I learned that every book of the Bible is a representation of Jesus. Of Jesus. From Genesis. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, the creator. Because when mm -hmm. you go to John, it mm -hmm. says nothing was made that he didn't make. That's right. And you go to every single book. The profile. Of Jesus, That's Exodus right. is the deliverer, and you go on. And listen, as you begin to go, if that whole book, and and I mean, if you really study, they call it the bloodline. There's a line from Genesis to Revelation, alive and well, that shows you that Jesus was everywhere in it, from the mm. onset to the beginning of the Bible to the end of the Bible. He started it, and he will end it. And you know, before they used to tell us. That the Old Testament really not that important. Oh, it is absolutely important. The Old Testament is the foundation. One of the things you learn yeah. when you get to school of the Bible, those writers quoted copiously. Yeah, from the Old Testament. From the Old Testament. Well, yeah. Paul Jesus for sure. himself. Yeah. And there are some, the amount of the quote is amazing. So if it wasn't important, why would Jesus now come and quote That's it? Right. Now imagine, even in the temptation in the wilderness. Jesus quoted the Old Testament. Yeah, because there was no New Testament yet. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, My word. Yeah, this is exciting. Yeah. I'm so encouraging. For the word that God speaks yeah, God is speak. alive and full of power. So when we take in the word of God, it empowers us. And what kind of power do we have is, you know, exousia power, uh, dunamis power. Mm. I mean, the power that God has in all the different aspects as we may need. It is full, the word of God will empower us. Making it active. So I take in the word, it, it becomes active inside of me, operative, energizing and effective. Oh my. Come on. Something begins to happen with me. And that is why when we like when we will like be able, able to go to church, I mean, how many times you drag yourself to church? You Especially didn't want to come. Friday, Friday night person. Well, Friday night yeah, person. Yeah, to them they had a, a energy of their own. Because <laughs> some of them come from all far places, and one thing and Work they miss a Friday night. Day. Yeah. Right? But circumstances weighed you down. And you decided you didn't really want to go. But you are a disciplined covenanter. Not just a covenanter. Child of God. Kingdom citizen. And the Bible says, don't forsake the assembling of yourselves as the manner of some is. And so you tell yourself, I'm going to church. And when that word is preached, I said many times, I sit on that chair and I weep. He has to lay hands. I don't want to go to no altar call. Because the word of God, the word that will come forth sometimes, even before the preacher, the prophetic word, even during the praise and worship, the worship, the songs are prophetic, the word of God, because you sing the word of God. And you realize something starts to happen to you. It begins to energize you. Hallelujah. It begins to cause you to rise. But even, even as, as people are now seeing, now that on a Sunday morning we replay, we play over the morning prayer, mm -hmm. then into the worship. Mm -hmm. Many people would realize that since in the little intercession time of 15 minutes, the lead prayer is prophesying about what's going to happen in the mm -hmm. service, and exactly that mm -hmm. comes and happens. So we believe once we when we get back mm -hmm. into congregational worship. Don't miss a minute. Mm. Because once you hook up from the time of the prayer into the worship, mm. my Lord, you, you, you're sailing like, a, like one of those hot air balloons mm -hmm. for the rest of the week. By the time the wood comes, That's the word you word. had your soup, you had your salad. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, ready already. And then telling you. you get your main course. Oh, my. Yep. Huh. And, and them real fancy meal. I remember we had this multiple course meal and you had the fish and they give you some um to, to cleanse your palate when you, before you shift her. And then like, come on now. Shabba. You understand? Amen. Amen. And you God, every aspect of the, 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 yeah. the service is important. But go back to that part, it was penetrating to the dividing line. MVG. Oh, yeah, MVG. It is sharper than any two edged sword. Penetrating to the dividing line of the breath of life, which is your soul and the immortal, immortal spirit, spirit, and of joints and marrow of the deepest parts of our nature. Uh, yeah. well, we might as well just blow it open. Remember, man was first made spirit. Remember that the image and likeness of God is spirit. First spirit, Zakar Nekiva. Then God made flesh in Genesis 2 7. And he put the spirits in the body of flesh. If you get the copy of the book Nekiva from Exousia, you will see that the word for breath of life is a plural word mm. in the original. He blew the breath of lives. <sighs> so there was male and there was female in the male body. Mm. Proof of that is when God did the surgery 
and brought uh, the woman, or, or I should say, the helper mm -hmm. to Adam, the man. Adam said, what? Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, you shall be called woman because you were taken out of. You were taken out, out of. So you could not be taken out of if you, if you were not first in, right? So just um, proving that. But coming back to this, where it says the, the right, penetrate into the dividing line of the breath of life which is the soul and the immortal spirit. What happens when a person dies? That dividing line for a final moment comes and blocks the body and the soul from controlling the spirit. Because originally, we were made what? Spirit. And the real sequence of commands mm -hmm. to our being and to our doing and our saying and whatever mm -hmm. is supposed to be first spirit mm -hmm. which does what speak to the soul which is the mind yeah, and those other faculties and the other faculties mm -hmm. and the soul and the mind will do what convey to the body mm -hmm. to take the action but now we have it ah, we and even we misquote what the bible says because first mm -hmm. thessalonians, first thessalonians mm -hmm. it says spirit soul and body that's but right oh i sometimes i and all find myself saying body soul and spirit right the bible never said um, body, body soul and spirit it's spirit yeah. the mm -hmm. spirit is in the deepest part of our being oh, hallelujah the soul is the intermediary yeah between the spirit mm -hmm. and the body no, no. The, the, the spirit is the original mm -hmm. dimension of God in us. Wow. Therefore, it's the spirit mm -hmm. that knows what God wants. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just talking about Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because it is, the, the scripture even talk about it. Even people who never would hear the gospel, they know what's right. Yes. And they know what's wrong. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. built into a yes. human being. Yeah. But what happened when Adam and Eve stood up there and had that serpent speak to them? Words again? Words. Oh, God. Yay, yay, yay. Had he, God said, that's Jesus. Right. He appealed Same word, yeah. to their, what? Their soul. Mm -hmm. He said, come on, man. Don't let God tie you up now, man. Yeah. Uh, come on. If you eat that, you'll be yeah. like God. Shwa. And God made them already like him. Go. Satan always offering you what you have already. That's right. He offering you what God already gave you. That's right. You have access to what God has for us. And Satan mm -hmm. coming like a, we keep saying like a man, pick your zaboka. Yeah, yeah. And then want to and sell you. Down the road, you see this person. And at least you pick them because you figure we, we they they are big enough. Right. Because you know the size they should come. Right. But you see it, you're like avocado. You stop and you buy and a you few. Buy back your own zaboka. And then when you come teeth. home, you realize the thief is is your, your, your look, is, yeah. Satan trying. To, to sell, sell us you what, what you we already have already. Own. That's it. They were already in God's image. That's it. That's it. Think about it from that angle. And from that time, the in, in fact, if you go to the end <clears throat> of chapter two of Genesis, I mean, this is so powerful. It says they were naked, but not ashamed. Now tell me if any one of us, saved as we are, saved, anointed as we are, would walk down the road naked and not be ashamed. Well, unless we two. mad. There's only two of them, so. Right? Un <laughs> unless we mad. That's all right. <laughs> no, but when, when they did get mm. uh, um, a taste of what the devil gave to them, yes, shame suddenly they realized the shame. they are naked and they are ashamed. Shame came in. Are we understanding then mm. that when we get saved, right? This is basic salvation 101. When we get saved, but we don't hardly ever hear teach taught like that. When we get saved, we are really reactivating the process mm -hmm. where our soul 
is now supposed to listen to our spirit mm -hmm. to give what to give commands to the body body because now the holy spirit now controls our spirit that's right but where do we get the spirit words from to ignite our souls so that our souls could command our body it's supposed to be from the word of god yeah because the word of god is spirit and it's life and it's life hmm. that's what it is you know hmm. that's why you cannot claim to be developing as a Born child of believer, God, yeah. a believer, mm -hmm. and you don't know what you believe mm -hmm. because you're not mm -hmm. into the word. There was a time when we didn't know. That's right. And people tie us up and they all tie kinds us up of things. All kind of no, thing, listen all to me. Things. We have been for years, and mm -hmm. we are fortunate because mm -hmm. God knew. Here now, oh, I'm so grateful to God. Mm. He knew that we would need the word of, the God, word of God in a time like in a this. Time like this. You need yeah. understanding of That's the right. word. That's right. And gave us mm -hmm. an opportunity right. to systematically study That's his right. word. And we can tell you that God knew that he would be using both of us yeah. to deliver his word mm -hmm. in the dimensions that we do. Yeah. Seminars and school, yeah. of the school of the Bible, and conferences and so on. Why? Listen. In the early, late 1970s, early 1980s, even before we got called into the prophetic, there was such an anointing in that church where our father was. Mm. People were coming by the hundreds. More than hundreds. Thousands. Because all the yard full yes. of people. They were, and you know what? You know what was the, criter the criteria? for getting a seat inside downstairs on a Sunday morning, come to Sunday school. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because people used to just come to Sunday school. Of course, we used to in a class, we got the classes. Yep. We, you know yep. a long time we used yep. to Sunday school. Yep. The, the whole church, and they separate and divide up. And they find and, a seat in yeah, the class. Yeah. And unless you're an usher or yeah. choir member or so, mm -hmm. you don't get up from there. But here it is. Here, here, what is, is the key we're talking about here? We were too large as Sunday school mm -hmm. for the headquarters to provide us with the teacher yes. from Canada. Yeah. Imagine all kind of thousand, so much people. <laughs> thousand and something. Yeah. Sunday school. You know, you lose it. Yeah. Write your own material. Write your own material. And myself and Apostle Jim, we yeah. sit down for days. All right. And then we started to right in um, pick and pick teacher people who, who had the who capacity and the ability to write. to write, and they would write Shall for write. their level because, like uh, adults at a certain age, they will that will write and things. Yeah. So we had our own. We never really um, printed it and did no. it officially. No. It was just you know handouts and that kind of thing because never really thought so, of it. So, so yeah. what you hear us releasing school of the, school of the Bible as seminars mm -hmm. and whatever. That's where it started. You know? mm -hmm. In other words, God ignited our spirit to read and see revelation. Mm -hmm. We didn't even know we were prophetic. Mm -hmm. Because nobody was teaching that in that particular yeah. Um, yeah. denomination. It's when the Lord called us in 86 that we finally understood what this thing was about. The that, prophetic. That's amazing eh? because every class the teacher had a handout to teach. That's, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Wow. So, so, so you are the beneficiaries. We can tell you, you are the beneficiaries. Even now, what mm -hmm. we God just jump on us and say, "Do this tonight." Mm -hmm. You are the beneficiaries of years. Yeah. Of God. We didn't do any ordering, kind of preparation for that. Right. Yeah. Ordering mm -hmm. us the way it meant to be. He talks to our spirit by way of, now we know we would speak through prophetic word. And some people say, my mind told me, no, no, no. It's his spirit. But he got us immersed in the written word. And the written word became the living word that fed our spirit. So we could have written it in such a way now, broken down so that every 
Sunday school teacher and the students. Mm -hmm. And some material. And then I, 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 systematic I, I teaching. Actually got the little children, because Donald and them were that little age, mm -hmm. the little children, their literature. Yeah. So they, they too were learning the word. So, so when you were three years old. When you pass a Donnell and Prophet preaching, Dion they, preaching, yeah. come on and put and Patrice minister in the word like she does. Let us tell you. They were fed that word from small. Fed that from small. And yeah. we're saying to you, mm -hmm. instead of, I mean, loading up your soul with negativity, mm -hmm. say, God, I want to be able to read the word. Amen. and get revelation fill amen. up the spirit amen so that i could command my soul amen hallelujah with the right thing to command yes. my body yes to do the right thing and i lord mm -hmm. help me to teach me little son little mm -hmm. daughter mm -hmm. the word hallelujah the word which is spirit mm -hmm. and it is life and i have so many things now for children my where we never had that before so now you could go on the internet and find suitable material and listen and and they have um printouts that you could get sometimes it's free from the internet and you print out the material the child could use and you know what i mean yeah so but the lament of this season is this in a season when we have more versions of the bible we have fewer people who read it, read it. Mm -hmm. and even fewer Oh Lord, who know it? Let us not be in those last two fewers. <laughs> yes. Amen. Let us be yeah. the people yeah. who, anytime somebody come up, and li listen, this thing has so much mm -hmm. power and authority yeah. for the one who knows it. Yeah. And and hey. you, you start to see people maturing. There is somebody who I interface with regularly a few times a week and we've been doing it, do it, doing that for years so it, we have been together for like 10 15 or more years more than that and i've seen that person mature in god's word by the conversations we have like i am talking we how we talking here and i would say something and immediately she would hit me with a scripture and say like so and so and so i say hey, hey. Excuse me. Yes, a lot of people know. <laughs> so in the very same way that we like interface and now with the word of God, he will say something and something will jump out. And he will say something. You have people now because they have opened up themselves to the word of God, becoming proficient, the linking mm -hmm. scripture. Mm -hmm. Become a woman of the word, man of the word, yeah, yeah, boy yeah, of the yeah, word, yeah. youth of the word, yeah. teacher of the word. Singer of the word, yeah, worshiper of the word, yeah. and worker, doer mm -hmm. of the word. Amen. Each class mm -hmm. had a name, something yeah. of the word here. Yeah. Sola Scriptura. Yes. So the Bible only, Sola right. is only Scriptura, right. Bible. That's the right. The Bible only. That is all. So let's finish down that. Yes. That, that scripture yeah. and then j just two more frames in the um in the right. powerpoint and we're going to finish Amen. there tonight oh, exposing and sifting and analyzing uh -huh. and judging the very thoughts and purposes of the heart exposing and sifting and analyzing and judging the judging part, it's about putting things in the right category. After you sift and you analyze and you, expo you expose, you sift and you analyze, you say, okay, this goes here, this goes there. This is a do-do, this is a do-do. This is a must-do. This is a shall-do. This is a shall-not. Again, because that's when you activate your correct sequence of mm -hmm. commands mm -hmm. the word feeding your spirit mm -hmm. your spirit listening both to the living word and the written word which becomes the living word when holy spirit does to us what he did with jesus
take that word that we just read and bring it alive. And then he says, no, this is what you say to your mind. See, let, let this thing be released to your mind. And we keep talking about it all the time. Every time I do a funeral, I talk about it. There's a major gulf between Proverbs and Ecclesiastes. Although it's written by the same man, touted to be the wisest man ever. He writes the Proverbs when he's drawing on the wisdom of God. To the point that he said, his mother told him in, in, um, in, in uh, Proverbs 3, verse 8, boy, if you follow the word your father taught you, your very navel, which is the seat where your, where your real spirit is, you say your navel will become happy. It will be a joy to your navel. And he followed that word up to the end when the mother told him, this is how you choose a wife. She has to be a virtuous woman, Amen. a woman of the world. It says she starts not for kings right. to drink wine. Right. And because then, she said, that's for fools. Right. She because you it. need a clear head for judge. If you want to that, judge, that, you don't need to right. fill your head with, al get drunk with alcohol. That's right. He, he wrote um, Proverbs 22 1. He said, um, Wine is a mockery. He said, I yeah. try that boy and the thing. Yeah, but he said, it'll bite you like an adder. Yeah. A snake. Thing here, no? Poisonous. Yeah. And Anyhow. then it comes to Ecclesiastes and the very first chapter. He does an audit of his life. Same wise man. Mm. And if you read it, right at the very bottom, after he talked about vanity, 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 at the very bottom, the last line, last verse in chapter one, he say, all oh. is vanity and vexation of spirits. <laughs> he said, I try everything. I try everything, everything my heart desired I because I could have had it. Mm -hmm. I had it. He was wise and use the wisdom. Yeah. So think mm -hmm. about it from that angle and become an avid reader, avid meditator, mm -hmm. whatever you're going to call mm -hmm. whatever uh, uh, title upon yourself, mm -hmm. it still <laughs> means get the word of God in you inside. You take one book and read it for the year. That's right. That's right. We did it again. We did it again. Right. And I get the young fella said Proverbs. That's right. Yeah, Proverbs changes like. He said, yeah. And, and he kept reading. He said, when yeah. he finished, every month is mm -hmm. the 30, 31, he read it again. That's right. Yeah. And we have said it over and over and we keep saying it. When the Lord called us in the ministry, the first major order he gave me I knew, was to read the Bible. But we read the Bible, but we're reading the Bible all the time since we small, small so. God said, no, I want, you to, I want you to read the Bible. So we went from Genesis right down to Revelation. And when I was finished, he said, read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go back from Genesis. And I read the Bible. And what, what, what was good for the street I had to read it. Yeah, yeah no, they say, mm -hmm. what was good for me is that the the Bible we used for doing the Sunday school lessons mm -hmm. was a Bible my father had left with us when he started traveling. He left it in the house. And he left it in the house and he went to the States. Mm -hmm. And that you Bible. Used that because I had all these we, notes, copious we, notes here. That's right. That's how we have those days, have it, so. that was that was the electronic yeah, it takes, uh, yeah, it takes Bible. Mm -hmm. And then he says, now go back and read a third time. Mm -hmm. And now get a marker. And verses that jump out to you, to you, underline them. Mm -hmm. Mark them. Color them. Different colors. Three times. So when people, uh, a person who just remember scripture so, <laughs> then they just, happen, you have to labor to get into your rest. 
Yeah, Keep it doesn't first. come automatically, and it can be piecemeal. Yes. You have to be. There able must be a time to, when you mm -hmm. go through the entire Bible. Uh, why God saying that today? Why? Why He has us talking to you yeah. today? Because we are in. I believe we are in the tail end of this season. The tail end, and that's why the tail wagging so powerfully. Yeah. I believe we are out of the belly of the the COVID. We are in the tail end, and we keep saying the COVID is a wound. And one of the, the things that must show evidence that you were in the womb of the COVID mm -hmm. is that, that when it's over, and even before it's over, you are being birthed as a word man, mm -hmm. as a word woman. You, you, you have seen us here three times a week, and in the first year, it was four times a week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <clears throat> now you're seeing us three times a week teaching. We don't have enough space here to get up and, and shout and run. And the only time we, we did any stand up thing was for the women's conference. Mm -hmm. But every week for three, we have not missed one mm -hmm. of these days, those days. And it's always two of us feeding yeah. from one another. Yeah, we know. The God is gracious, eh? Yeah. Sure. I mean, because you always consistent, but I mean, I was able to come and sit next to you. For almost Delivering. two years. That's right. And on average, a three to four times a week, never miss. God is just keeping right. power. So we are proclaiming all yeah. the various, power. the various uh, uh, um, convulsions that we feeling and so on mm -hmm. from different matters. This is birthing time. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the water is breaking. Mm -hmm. Kuboshanda, and uh, there is a, a, a movement to push hallelujah. us out. Yeah. Push us out of the oh womb. My God. Don't yeah. worry what the social media are saying and the news saying and and and, and mm -hmm. the various yeah. so so called uh, experts are saying. That is... We prophesy. To you. No, no, no. Your focus has to be on God on and His God. word. Yeah. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. Keep your eyes. Don't let nothing distract you from God. Keep your eyes riveted on the cloud, my God, because it, it it it's flickering. We want to, you know, God. The cloud is about to move, and mm -hmm. you want your eyes to be on the cloud, God. Mm -hmm. And everybody will have a flicker for yourself. Yeah, it's not Shanda. divine destiny flicker. No, no, no. There no. is a divine destiny this flicker. The church of Jesus Christ, right? But when we say church, Jesus. we're talking individual. There's a flicker. God is about to shift you into another a new dimension we talk about new dimensions all them, but that's precisely what is happening not just another level and the, 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 the dimension that you're going to enter in necessitates a solid foundation of the word of god My god. hallelujah this holy prepared. spirit can teach you regardless of your education regardless of your capacity intellectual capacity that there is no limit. There is something about the word of God that transcends intelligence and intellect. Because sometimes there are some people who are real bright and intelligent, but listen, they don't have a handle on the word of God as somebody who could barely speak, then go to school, then finish school. Because the Holy Spirit is the one who teaches. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we, we really want to, I don't know, it has to be God and leading us in this manner. This evening, well, we know Donald and they have the thing just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They do their thing. Yeah. But, 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 just give us the, the last two frames there of that thing, and we're going to finish it today. And tomorrow we'll go back to the tights thing and finish off very soon. Mephi Bushet. Somebody needed this tonight, and the word of God by itself brings healing. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, well, bring it from the one before. So somebody who wasn't here last time would be able to hook up that just thing. In the palace. In the palace. But with low level thinking. Right? So you, you, you go and you read that verse there. Mm -hmm. He is there. He is before the king. 
and he's asking the Look king. Look right Oh, it's, it's down there, right? So read, read, read the Second the, Samuel the nine, eight. So the king invites uh, Mephibosheth Mephi into the palace to dine with him, and he, he the Bible says Mephibosheth bowed down and said, "What is your servant that you should notice a dead mm. dog like yes. me?" Come Jesus. on, Mephi Bush, change your mind about change yourself. Change your mind. Change yeah. your mind. Because mindset. the king holds you in high esteem. He wouldn't put no dead dog. Dead dog is, is a stinking thing. That's right. So the king ain't bringing no dead dog. And yeah. you wouldn't bring dead dog with her food. No, no. He bring him at his table. Okay. But you see, Mephi Bush had come out of Lodeba, but Lodeba had not yet yeah. come out of him. And that takes time. And that takes time. Mm -hmm. He had fallen. And it was not only his um, leg that was lame, his mind. Yes, so it affected his mind. It thinking. affected his thinking mm -hmm. of himself. And there's somebody mm -hmm. today, God is delivering you. All that word we just spoke about, Hallelujah. it's deliverance by way of the word. Hallelujah. God is letting you know, hallelujah, you're here with a purpose. Yes, with your limp. Yes, with all that you experience. You see, but at the end of it, it's your spirit that will prevail. Hallelujah. Your spirit will start to speak to your mind and you will not be ashamed to testify mm. about what you went through. But look at me now. It has to be God. Hallelujah. And the, the, the next uh, um, quote says what? Does, Does uh, simply sitting and dining at uh -huh. the king's table necessarily mean that you are healed on the inside? Right. Yeah, because we're talking all this And now we're going to tell you this table talk. We were, you were at the king's table tonight. Mm -hmm. We were the chefs and mm -hmm. the um, and, waiters. And, and the waiters. Mm -hmm. But simply hearing the word is not it. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, Be he what? Doers of the word, not hearers only. Or most of what we said tonight had been said before. And the Lord says, no, it's about application. Application. Somebody, there's somebody who needs the word you heard tonight. But they wouldn't hear it from us. Because where you are going tomorrow, we won't be there. And God says, I want you to stop seeing yourself as a lame dog, as a dead dog, as a man with a broken broken soul, a woman with a, a, a clogged up mind. See yourself mm -hmm. from the angle that if God called you, mm -hmm. then there has to be something good in you. You are Christ's ambassador. You are Asha, ba, ba, ba. He chose you to represent heaven. All of us, we are Christ's ambassadors. Right on that job, right on that job. And we will be prophesying to, 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 to all who are getting uh, all kind of persecution on the job. Listen to me. We have seen God pull through some people. Just as I was speaking to one, I mean, the blazer put on that job for two weeks. And then she said, Apostle, I want you to pray for me. And we don't just pray like that, especially when it's something on the job. It's somebody who's trying to take your position. Somebody who finds you too close to them in terms of your efficiency. And just now, the authorities might want to put you in their position. So what they turn and do? Give you stress. Mm -hmm. But here what happens? God has a word for your situation. And we are decreeing that you now will find your word. Mm -hmm. By the time you call and say, Apostle Jim, I pray for me. Apostle Vivian, pray for me. And you tell us the situation, we will ask you, what word do you have from scripture mm -hmm. for that situation? Then we're going to add our words and you release that prophetic word. <coughs> this is said to me, the, those who were trying to, to tear her apart, they're walking, when they see her now, they head down. Mm. <laughs> Are we talking about real big boys? Eh? They head down. That's the kind of thing that God said. Let your spirit be the reservoir of that word. That's why David said, I'll hide his word in my 
heart. That's his spirit deep inside. And out of my heart, I get light. He said it becomes a light unto my feet and a lamp unto my path. So, or a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, whichever one. The key to the whole thing is, by the time I get to the palace, now that we know, Mephibosheth didn't know what to do. Now, by the time you get to the palace, you should have enough word inside of you. Hallelujah. Because remember the word Mephibosheth means one who proclaims the word of God against, curses against false gods. And you check it out, most of the people who are against you on that job or in the neighborhood, they worship false gods. And they may have succeeded in giving you a limp, but we prophesy. The limp will not be in your mind. The limp, limpness. Let's get to the, to the next one. Right. Just a veneer, a mask, a scab, hiding a deeper wound inflicted by the fall and abandonment. Right. And that's where most times we are duped, taken in, caught by negativity. Negative news, negative sermons, negative uh, um, writings on social media and all of that. Why? Because already we have a predisposition. God was talking to me about that. Our predisposition to negativity. That's why we latch on to negativity so quick. And that's why it's so hard even when God says, you are my son. You are my daughter. You are a winner. You are a champion. You are on your way to the top and you cannot be stopped. Who, me? And here's now, you press rewind. You don't know where I come from. You, now, is it wrong to re Rehearse where you came from? Of course not. It's when you rehearse where you came from as a counter to where you are. Then your testimony is so much stronger because people now could identify with you as not having come down with a parachute from heaven, you know. As not having had what you call the gold, uh, is gold spoon, gold spoon in the mountain, mm. they look at you and say, "Well, boy, mm. if a person could do that mm. by God's authority, I could do that. Amen. If God could bless a person like that, mm. and one one you know make one lady come for counseling, she said, I heard your wife talk about how she went through." even the, 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 the attempted or the suggested um, abortion. She, she said, so she called and she wanted to get her, to get counseling. I'm here. Because she went through all that. I'm still and here. And not just here, here present. with an anointing. Here mm -hmm. as a present, yeah. not even present meaning in the now, but as a present to God's people, Amen. we are prophesying to you. Amen. God, God, wrap you up in all mm -hmm. those uh, 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 um, bands of His glory. Right. Why? So that you could shine as one that they drop on your head, one that they try to get rid of. Mm -hmm. But when you hear God says, hmm. "Not her." Not my child. Hallelujah. Not now. Amen. When I'm ready, I will do what I have to do. <laughs> Nobody. Shako Brosondo. And listen to me. That place they want to stop you from getting that, that uh, promotion, you deserve it. You've been working hard. You've been serving God. The office, pass by the office, some oil in your hand and anoint it. I go in there before the year out. Shaka Tarobo Sanda. Hallelujah. Size yourself up every now and then. Sit down by a, by a table or by a um, 
by your, uh, what do you call it, your, your mirror and your face basin. Pull a chair and sit down and look like an executive. Because God says that is yours. COVID is a wound. And the, and the birth pangs have begun. I, I, I tell you, I could feel it. I could feel it. Don't, don't get caught with the numbers increasing. It's going to get worse, but it's going to get better. Think about it. And we want to be around for it. Hallelujah. Just get, just get the, last, the last one there. I think it's the last two. Right. Lameness of mind. Ah, oh, Jesus. Is a greater determinant of character, of mm. attitude and behavior than lameness of feet. Right. Might have a few physical, um, what do you call it, scars and evidence mm. of the hard life you came through. But let it never be in your mind. In your mind. So that's the battleground. That's right. That's right. Yeah. The battleground of the mind, and that's why we we have um, hmm. Proverbs four twenty three. Read it in all the versions you could. It says, "Keep your heart." And if I say, "Guard and keep your heart with all diligence," become a vigilante for your heart. Don't let any and everybody pass by and throw things in your heart. If your heart explodes, you're dead. If your heart gets poisoned, you're dead. If you let somebody else squeeze your heart, you're dead. When you give your heart to Jesus, leave it in his hands and ask him to keep feeding you and nourishing you. How will he, you know what he will tell you to do, to do it? He'll say, go back to that um, thing on the 22nd, no, 23rd. On the 23rd, go back to that recording of Apostle Vivian and Apostle Gemma making a big, big, big thing about my word and listen it again because that's how you become a woman of the word, a man of the word. Mm -hmm. And anything that hits you, there's a trigger, something going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As soon as uh, they, they tell you, oh, you're a waste of time, you hear, Ding! I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Ding! I'm wonderfully and beautifully made. Look at myself in the mirror and say, wonderfully and beautifully Masike. made. And not letting no Masuhi. magazine determine my beauty. Chapuko. God says I'm beautiful. Masikuro. Hello, when I was, I find I'm looking real good. Say, hey. Yeah, 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 because God says so. Mundo ki Come on now. I have a right to be here. My word. I'm yeah. on my way to the top. Yeah. Yeah. And I cannot be mm -hmm. stopped. So you standing up there trying to kick me down? No. Nope. Watch yourself. Tamo mm. okay. Listen, Jesus. Do not let a limp, a little discrepancy in your physical or even your historical mm -hmm. <laughs> element, dimension, make your mind. Go wako. And that's why Job said it. He said, even if God slays me. And he said that against all kind of criticism. I will still trust him. I'm not going to let my mind be lame. Mm -hmm. And he said to his wife and all, lady, mm -hmm. let me tell you straight. I am going to maintain my integrity. He said, "Would God give good and you know, I want to take you right. by his hand. Right. Amazing. Shada. Masiko mm. Robo Santa. Hallelujah. So do not let your mind be lame. Don't let anybody drop you on your mind. Don't let them drop your mind. Don't let them drop things in your mind. And some people just know it, you know. They drop it and they go on. Uh, my father is called it a sprat. They drop a sprat. You know what's a sprat? A sprat is a little, little fish that you go and you catch that first to make bait mm. to catch bigger fish. Mm. And that's what they do for you. Mm. Don't let people throw sprat inside. <clears throat>
good and we, we just take the last two ay, ay, ay. the way of ziba uh -huh. he just goes along with the program but jealousy is yes. driving him to set you up for another fall mm -hmm. second samuel 16 14 warning 16 wonderful Sorry, sixteen right? wonderful. But you you read that for yourself because what happened is that D David is running from his son Absalom, and he sends a note to clear everybody, clear the palace, come over to where I am. And you know what, Ziba did not tell um, Mephibosheth. Mm -hmm. So when they when they finally arrive, Ziba and and the entourage, David asked so. Where is my fellowship? He said he didn't want to come. That's what he said. He no. lied. Yes. The, um, Ziba lied on him. Yeah. He said he didn't want to come. And you know what David did? David was so exasperated. He said, look, you see everything I you had and I give... Um, Mephibosheth is yours. Is yours. Yeah. And just then, Mephibosheth arrived. Listen, some might get there before you. Mm. And what they do is when they reach over, over they there, the tarnish off. Mm -hmm. But we prophesy to you. Hallelujah. What is yours yes. is yours. Mm -hmm. See it like that. Hallelujah. And you, you, you see Ziba there with, who is a shushu man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were, and he's saying, don't, don't worry with him. Um, with, with Mephibosheth, he brought me out. Jesus brought me out. When you hear I finish with the splat on him, you go find out. Mm. Listen to me. We are here to prophesy to you. That scripture there in Isaiah 54, when God told, um, or Isaiah prophesied to the woman, which is really Israel, which is really any one of us who has become, I mean, loaded with, with God's grace. He says, sing, sing, get pregnant, sing, open up. You're going to take over territories. He said, but look out. You begin to threaten people with your expansiveness and expansion. Mm -hmm. And he said, he said, but there's a bridge you have to cross. It's called the No Weapons Bridge. Somebody needs to write that in your own notes somewhere in your Bible. I am going to cross the No Weapons Bridge into my next season. Because the next season says, I'm Thirsting for God. Who everyone that thirsted? Come to the waters and drink. There's a place of greater satisfaction. Hallelujah. Tell you when COVID is over, watch God do some things in our lives. So, so when he's singing, Jesus brought me out. You're dancing, you're jumping. Listen to me. That is not a question of conjecture as it were. It's a truth and truth remains truth he brought me out so whoever <laughs> tried to push me back in you just failed even uh, uh, the warning there's a warning even when you have risen above your lameness mm -hmm. be vigilant uh -huh. because there are spirits looking in your atmosphere uh -huh. plotting to drop you again and you have to decide uh -uh. I, I got dropped once And I've been called to a higher place. Somebody, well, you could say, scrape me up from the ground. And that had to be Holy Spirit. And now I am on my way to the top and I cannot be stopped. Ziba, you take a side. Ziba means stone face, unyielding. They want to give you a chance to express yourself. That is the Judas spirit. That is what Judas did. Yeah, the woman, she emptied her perfume on Jesus. And Judas said, waste of time. Look at waste, look at waste. Jesus said, you, you cool yourself. Oh, that money could have been spent and fed to feed the poor. And you know he was lying. And Jesus said, boy, what this woman has done for me, 
Nobody else has done it. She's preparing my body. And it was in the week, as they say, of the Passion, the week within which Jesus was crucified. And it says she was a woman of the city. That was an expression of her being a prostitute. Of course, she, she got saved. And to show her passion, her love for Jesus, she took her wages and she bought the spike knife. One year. One year's wages. Mm -hmm. And she lavished it on Jesus. Don't be afraid to perfume up the place in your neighborhood. Oh, yeah, but they will say, but listen, they were talking all the time. I don't anyway. understand why people keep <laughs> with, you know, I mean, I, this one will say that, that one. The people, doesn't yep. matter what people it say. Matter. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. Yep, yep, people, yep. People, let them talk. I'm the saved, Calypsonian and all say, let them I talk. Am. Yep. Come on. I'm you know? saved and I know that I am. I know. I know I am saved. So, hallelujah. Maybe we need to pray for, for somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah, we'll pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your people. And you have spoken. And the songwriter says, let the church say amen. What has spoken, let the church say amen. And Lord, you have targeted all of us but specifically yeah. certain people who need to anchor themselves more fully in your word to be able to be uh, steadied in their walk with you and the whole experience with you I prefer strength in the inner man I come against that uh, my people shed mentality. My God. That despite what you offer to that individual, they want to remind you, God, of their limitations. They want to say, I'm not worthy. You know, I, I don't deserve this. And you're saying, but I love you. And I want to bless you. I want to elevate you. For some reason, we have this propensity to use words that denigrate ourselves. He called himself a dead dog. He didn't quite understand why David would so honor him. Hallelujah. It caused us to understand it is by grace. It is not of works, lest any man should boast. Grace through faith. We don't deserve salvation. We don't deserve your peace. We don't deserve your joy. Hallelujah. We don't deserve your blessings. We don't deserve the positions that you put us in. None of the things that we enjoy or that you intend to give to us, we don't really deserve it. But you, Lord, because of your grace and your mercy, because you view us through the blood of Jesus, because of the sacrifice of Calvary, that blood that's still presently effective, we deserve to sit at your table. Yes. Hallelujah. We deserve to be blessed in the way that Mephibosheth was blessed. He reinstated generational blessing to him. And I pray that every single individual, two main categories, those who need to really get back to your word in the way that they used to be. And those who have filled their, their minds with more outside information that has nothing to do with your word, Lord, that they will fill themselves now with your word and that the word will push out all the negativity from inside of their minds. And we thank you that even the Mephibosheths will begin to see ourselves through heaven's eyes and see the Lord how you see us. We are beloved. Hallelujah. You see us through your eyes, blood washed, a treasure, having a treasure in a wooden vessel. Cause us to 
receive and accept what you have for us and where you want us to be and walk in it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have one testimony. Hallelujah. On Sunday, one of our sisters was at home there listening and said since around two o'clock she was under a vertigo attack and just like that God had us speak about it and she said instantly she rose up and was walking around by the time service was over oh my gosh let's let's get that testimony brother James grace and peace to you and your family apostle really what kind of God is this? <laughs> Since 2, 2 a.m. this morning, I'm in bed suffering in vertigo. I could only keep my head facing right. I told my daughter I was still going online for church because prayers would be done for my healing. Mm, my God. What then feeling? at the end, you said the word vertigo. I know it's only God using you. Thank you again for yes. I know able to move around without feeling like the world is spinning. So somebody take your healing right there, right Amen. there. Especially if you suffer from vertigo, because based on the imbalance of the, the, the particles, uh, particles in the, in the, air, in the air, if it's too much on one side, you can't lie down, you, you can't, can't face down that side at all. Yeah, you have to go on the other side. Yeah. God is a Alleluia, wonderful a God. Wonderful God. Amen. His word, and Amen. that's tell you. Get his word yeah. into you. Amen. You know what she said? She told her daughter, yeah. she's sure that prayer will be said will for you. And the thing is, when you go into a vertigo, Jeez. you really, it's very difficult for you to even want to watch like a screen. Yes. Or a screen. That's good. Right. You know, and the whole experience here. Yeah. So, you, whatever your need right now, Amen. receive it in the name of Jesus. Good. So, well, tomorrow is a holiday. But tomorrow is also a work day for us down at Calvary. We have the pain, we have the whatever else need, need to be had, except you bring a brush. But and whatever even, else. And whatever else you but can you need bring a painting. roller, whatever. Yes. Because we in need the to do container. Water. Right. Or whatever. Right. Yeah, whatever right. else. Right? And uh, Brother Desmond, well, he says, and I agree with him, reach as early as you could, or by by half past six, seven, yeah, would, they would have already been there, yeah. right? And there. But the sun is really the hot. Oh, what is this? So the earlier coming better. Right? We have walls to paint. We, we have... need a hat. We have a cap or a oh, hat yes. or something. Mm -hmm. But a kind of brim. Right. And if you, if you, um, you are, you know, good cook. <laughs> Bring some stuff. Bring something. Bring thing. Bring breakfast. Snack, bring, bring lunch. Anything, yeah. A little because, bit. It right. can't feed everybody, but a little bit could be shared. That's yes. right. That's right. Amen. Bring bring a cooler with water and ice, right? Because we we put out the money to, and got all the paint and the other um, equipment and so on. So we are looking forward, as they say, more hands make less work or light work with something so, right? Yeah. So we would look, be looking out for you tomorrow, by God's grace. Um, don't forget Judah and uh, those who will be taking part in the <coughs> act um, ceremony, act ceremony mm -hmm. this Saturday, where Judah will come first for, for 10, and then around <coughs> 12, we're looking for the people from the act ceremony to come and do your part, record it, and so on. So we're talking about... Um, School of Wisdom, we're talking about David's company, Ample. We're looking for you to be there. Amen? Mm -hmm. Right. And when we put that together, we know we're going to have a good act ceremony on the 8th. Right? There's one little thing we need to do with the promo. So from Sunday, we will be doing it. Amen. Do the promo. Amen. Any announcement there? Well, tomorrow, join me and ask Pastor Gemma at Isaac, 98.1 at 2 p.m. for the program. Right. Right. And then, of course, on Sunday, we have our service, right? 
uh, that's the twenty right. So it, communion is quite following next, Sunday. next Sunday. Yeah. Amen. So we're gonna take our offerings. Father, we just thank you for your provisions. We thank you that you are a God like that. And we thank you that you have included us in your end time setup. We thank you that we, your people, hallelujah, can find among ourselves, Lord, teachers of the word. And we thank you for choosing us to be teachers of your word so that your people can understand where you want us to be. Amen. So, Father, we so enter this glorious anointing and declare there shall be returns in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, we heal, singing that song, Heal Our Land. Uh, I can tell you, though, if, if you see it on the newspapers tomorrow, some reporter called to ask me, what word do I have for the nation, for republic? And I said, myself and wife, we sing a song called Heal a Land. That's our message for the nation. So if you see it on the, on the, on the Express, know that we, we gave them the permission to put it there. <laughs> Oh, 